Welcome back to Gold Fries, and in this video, we'll be looking at the ASRO Z490M ITX AC. It retails at RM775, which is about 190 US. Now, this is a sleek looking board with silver all over the layout. Starting off from the upper corner, it has a reasonable size heatsink covering an 8 phase power design with 5 SIC 654CD MOSFET for V core. The Z490M ITX AC has a great set of I.O. at the rear panel, two antenna ports, HD audio jacks, two RJ45 LAN ports, four USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports, one USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A port, one USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C port, one HDMI port, one Display port 1.4, two USB 2.0 ports, and one PS2 port for keyboard and mouse. The Z490M ITX AC comes with an 8-pin EPS 12V connection to provide more power to the CPU. But this board isn't one that you should put an Intel Core i7 or Core i9K model on and overclock. I couldn't get my hands on an Intel Core i5-10600K, so I went with the non-K variant as this board does have a BCLK boost feature that enables overclocking on the non-K models. I'll cover that in a separate video. The Z490M ITX AC comes with two M.2 socket with the first one supporting PCIe and SATA, while the second one being PCIe only, both supporting PCIe Gen 3. Both slots come with heatsink for added cooling capacity, and they make the board look a lot better. Lastly, the BIOS. As always, it's feature-rich considering this is a compact Z490 board. You might be wondering what the board looks like in the build. Here it is. This is my Cooler Master NR200P build, and the link to the build is in the description. Alright, so we come to the end of this video. The ASRock Z490M ITX AC is a board that you shouldn't be using to overclock a Core i7 or Core i9 processor. But for Core i5, I think there is a good limit that you can use. After all, the VRM heatsink is small, but as long as you know your limits, it's all good. So I'm giving this board a gold badge. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and bye-bye.